This is the husbands versus wives bracket video. This is my wife, Jessica. Hello. Or, or can I, do I call you Jess on here? No. Okay. So we got to go the whole name. Uh, the way that this works, we've done this for two straight years on the site. We have not done an actual video for it. We've only done on the podcast, and we've only done the brackets through the website. But for this, we decided to throw a little video on with it, so you might get an idea on the the inside of her brain on what it takes to win bracket challenges when you have not watched maybe even a single dribble of a basketball all season, right? It's not true. I've watched a dribble or two. You always have it on. I've seen dribbles. Do you know of any game that any team won all year? No. Have you seen any team that is in this field at all? You had on LSU the other night. Who were they playing? I don't know. There you go. Um, have you mentioned how I've won very large every year? The, the wives have destroyed the husbands on the bracket challenge, the husbands versus wives pool. Every year, Jessica has come in first place. Chris's wife, Amy, came in, what, second the first year and third last year? I think so. And I came in third the first year and second last year, and Chris has been dead last every year. So, and, and Chris actually pays attention somewhat. So, you know, that's the way it goes. So, uh, what we're going to do here is go through each region, and we're going to try and do it fairly quickly. But we're going to go through each region all the way to the Final Four. And then all the way to the championship game. Uh, and just kind of give, like, just a little idea of why you picked the teams that you did. Okay? Okay. All right. So we'll start out Duke against uh, North Carolina Central or North Dakota State. Either one. Who have you got? I've got Duke. Why? Okay. Because those numbers right beside the team, it's their seeds, right? Yes. And that's, like, how, like, how far they are ranked. Or how high they are ranked. How high they are ranked, right? Yes. yes. Well, I feel like people that have watched a lot more basketball than me and know a lot more about it, they they put a lot of thought into it, so I go with I usually go with that number. Okay. So Duke is way so, above So you like the favorites a lot. Yeah. Okay. So I've also got Duke as well. Uh, next game VCU against UCF. Uh, I've got VCU. Who do you have? UCF. And why? Well, because when it's really close, like one or two seeds. And I always go with the underdog because I feel like there's like a lot of emotion. Okay, that's <laughs> number five, Mississippi State against number twelve seed Liberty. Who are you taking there? Mississippi State because they're like way higher. Okay, uh, number four, Virginia Tech against St. Louis. I'm going to assume Virginia Tech. Oh yeah. Okay, because they're way, uh, ranked like uh, like way higher. Is that okay? Uh, number six, Maryland against number eleven, Belmont. Maryland. Because they're ranked higher, yes. I assume? Okay. Uh, you can just assume that. Okay, number three, LSU against Yale. LSU. Uh, number seven, Louisville against number 10, Minnesota. Louisville. Do you have what I have? Some of them, yes. Okay. I've got Belmont beating Maryland. Uh, I've got VCU over UCF. Uh, okay. okay. Michigan State against Bradley. Michigan State. Okay. Now let's move into the next round. Duke against VCU. Oh, okay. Oh, you've got UCF. I sorry. have Duke again. Thank you. I have Duke. Progressing. Okay, Mississippi State against Virginia Tech. Mississippi State. And why? Because Duke is one seed and Mississippi State. No, no, why do oh. you have Mississippi State over Virginia Tech? Oh, because Mississippi State is five seed in Virginia check is the four seed and because I go for the underdogs. Okay. <laughs> but only when they're really close. Yeah, like I'm not there's no miracle working in here. <laughs> okay, I got you. Uh, number six, Maryland against number three, LSU. Oh, I see now. LSU. Alright. Uh, <laughs> and I've got Belmont winning that game. I've got Virginia Tech winning the, the one up top. Uh, and then Louisville against Michigan State. Michigan State. All right, now we're moving over to the next one. So this is in the Sweet 16. 
Duke against uh, Mississippi State for you and Virginia Tech. Duke. Right I got it. I got it. Okay. Duke. <laughs> Uh, for me, Belmont against Michigan State. You've got LSU against Michigan State. I have LSU. LSU winning that. Okay. I've got Duke against Michigan State in the Elite Eight. You've got Duke against LSU. Uh, who do you have there? Duke. Duke. Okay. I've got Duke there as well. Um, let's see. Let's move down to the next the next region. Got it now. Okay. Gonzaga against uh, uh, Fairleigh Dickinson. Gonzaga. All right, Syracuse against Baylor. Baylor. Because of the nine over the eight? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Number five, Marquette against number 12, Murray State. Marquette. Number four, Florida State against number 13, Vermont. Florida State. Number six, Buffalo against Arizona State or St. John's. Buffalo. Texas Tech against Northern Kentucky. Texas Tech. All right, number uh, seven, Nevada against number 10, Florida. Nevada. Number two, Michigan against number 15, Michigan. Uh, no, number two, Michigan against number 15, Montana. Sorry. <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So now let's see if you, if you held firm on the same thing as before. Gonzaga against Syracuse. Or Baylor. Sorry, you got Baylor. Oh, yeah, Gonzaga. Murray, uh, I've got Murray State. Do Maybe. Maybe so. <laughs> okay, on my bracket, I have, I have Marquette winning against um, the Marquette-Florida State matchup. And so you got Marquette in the Sweet Six? Yes. Okay. And then I have Texas Tech and Michigan also advancing to Sweet 16. I have the same thing. I've got Gonzaga-Florida State in Texas Tech-Michigan. Who do you have in your elite? Gonzaga and Texas Tech. I have the exact same thing. Ooh. Who do you have coming out of that? Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Beat I've got the same thing. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the like trash it's now. Terribly. Oh, jeez. We both have Duke against Gonzaga. That's not good. Mm-mm. All right. Next one in the upper right quadrant. That's the sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Believe that. <laughs> Virginia against Gardner Webb. Virginia. All right. Now, remember, Virginia got beat by a 16 seed last year. I have nothing to remember because... Because you didn't even watch it. Nope. It, you won the bracket pool, but you did not watch it. Uh, Oklahoma against Ole Miss. Oklahoma. I've got the same thing. Wisconsin against Oregon. Wisconsin. I've got the same thing. Kansas State against UC Irvine. Kansas State. I have UC Irvine. Villanova against St. Mary's. Villanova. I have St. Mary's. Purdue against Old Dominion. Purdue. Purdue. Cincinnati against Iowa. Cincinnati. Tennessee against Colgate. Tennessee. So you've you've kept the same the same strategy all the way throughout, right? This is the same strategy I've used for two years and I've whipped up on everybody. That's a good call. Okay. Yeah. Virginia against Oklahoma. Uh Virginia. All right. Uh Wisconsin against uh, Kansas State for you. Wisconsin. All right. I've got uh, UC Irvine in the Sweet Sixteen. Uh, Villanova against Purdue. Purdue. Cincinnati against Tennessee. Tennessee. All right. Uh, Virginia against. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And I have Virginia advancing. Okay. Um, Let's see. Purdue against Tennessee. Purdue. Okay, I've got Tennessee there. So you have Virginia and Purdue. I have Virginia and Tennessee. Who do you have going to the final four? Purdue. Okay. I have Virginia. Uh, North Carolina, one seed against Iona. North Carolina. Utah State against Washington. Washington. All right. I have Utah State there. Auburn against New Mexico State. Auburn. That Can- sounds bad to say. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Kansas against Northeastern. Kansas. I have Northeastern. Iowa State against Ohio State. Iowa State. Houston against Georgia State. Houston. Wofford against Seton Hall. Wofford. Kentucky against Abilene Christian. Kentucky. All right, now let's, let's move to the next thing. Kentucky is not mm-hmm. North Carolina against Utah State. North Carolina. 
Auburn against Kansas. Auburn. I have Auburn as well. Iowa State against Houston. Houston. Wofford against Kentucky. Kentucky. I have both of those as well. North Carolina against Auburn. North Carolina. Houston against Kentucky. Houston. I have Kentucky. North Carolina against Houston. Houston. Sorry. Do you got Houston in the final four? Yes. Okay, I've got Kentucky in the final four. Okay. Um, You have Purdue against Houston in one of your final four games. Yes. Who you got coming out of that one? Purdue. And then Duke against Gonzaga. Duke. All right, I've got Gonzaga against Virginia in the championship game. You have Duke against Purdue. Yes. All right. Who do you have winning the championship? Purdue. I have Virginia winning the national championship. All right, we'll see how this year goes. Um, Number one. Number one. She's won two years in a row, and, and I try and argue with her, and I don't know why I do that. I have no idea. Winning streak. Yeah, winning cures everything, right? Everything. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.